Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks if you came here to listen. And today I'm going to talk about the Internet Computer Blockchain, uh, which is the world's first world computer blockchain. Um, here's some, some quick stats, and I wonder how many of you are aware of this. The Internet Computer uh, may know when live May last year. Uh, since then, it's processed over 1 billion blocks, and currently it's running at um, more than 5,000 transactions a second. So it's processing almost half a billion transactions a day, which really sets it apart from other blockchains in the space. And you can check out how it's doing on the dashboard, dashboard.internetcomputer.org. So the mission um, of uh, this blockchain is essentially um, to enable every single online system and service to eventually be um, built, reimagined, and entirely on blockchain. Um, and ultimately for blockchain to replace traditional IT in a kind of blockchain singularity. This is kind of accurate, you're trying to do this. Hold on, how's that? It's a bit better, right? All right. So, uh, the internet computer is um, primarily developed right now by the Definity Foundation. Uh, it's actually um, been going for some time. It was founded in uh, 2016. Uh, research actually began in 2015. It's actually blockchain's largest R&D operation. Um, we're almost 300 strong. And uh, some interesting factoids. We've got the biggest team of cryptographers in all of tech. Um, and uh, we're the largest employer of, for example, X Google research staff in Switzerland, where Google keeps its uh, European research headquarters. It's its second biggest base outside Mountain View. Um, it's a pretty academic organization. Um, they, you know, team members have published more than 1,500 uh, research papers and on the way to 100,000 uh, citations. And we employ a lot of very famous cryptographers and computer scientists. And you can get it at the definity.org website and, and check out the team. So uh, this, is, this is what we're about. Um, in, in the internet computer model, in the, in, in the world computer model, blockchain is the platform. Blockchain is the platform. And the idea is that you abandon traditional IT. You don't need cloud services. You can just build entirely on blockchain. So here in this um, little um, diagram, you can see uh, smart contracts running on the blockchain. They're composed together to create Web3 services. And these smart contracts are securely serving uh, web experiences uh, by processing HTTP requests. So that's completely unique um, within blockchain today. With respect to Web3, what's very important is uh, communities can own Web3 services when they run entirely on the blockchain. So in this diagram, you can see that some smart contracts are composed to create a service, and some smart contracts are composed to create a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. And it's actually that DAO that is updating and configuring the service. And end users will interact both with the service or services and with the DAOs that run them. They'll become part owners of the services they use, things like social media, social networks, and part of the team that runs them, you know, advocating for the service, introducing new users, and um, helping with tasks like content moderation. So you may wonder, is this world computer vision realistic? And, and, and the good news is, um, yes, it is. It's working today. Anyone can build on it. Thousands of developers already are, and it's been made possible by advanced cryptography. This is the basic architecture. Uh, the internet computer runs on special node machines. In much, the way, in much the same way, the internet runs on routing devices. These node machines are owned by independent node providers. They connect over the internet. Uh, using the single internet computer protocol to create the internet computer, which uh, hosts smart contracts, canister smart contracts in cipher space. 
and this is this is available today and and um, that's that's what people are doing right now you can build mass market uh, Web3 services that run entirely from the blockchain without any need for traditional IT like cloud services and run them under the control of DAOs. Um, one of the ways uh, the internet computer achieves this is through incredible efficiency gains. And I think, you know, uh, we're all being impacted by climate change in different ways. Um, and it's very important that blockchain is kind to the earth. And the internet computer is highly efficient, but it achieves that efficiency without um, sacrificing any of the kind of blockchain properties that you uh, we'd care about, like security and liveness. And it's actually designed, in the end, to replace traditional IT and reduce um, the CO2 emitted by traditional IT. One way of telling the efficiency story is in terms of storage. In this case, memory. So. This is something a lot of people aren't aware of, and it's an important point. Today, these, these, these numbers are updated last night. If you want to store a gigabyte of data on Ethereum, it'll cost you about $79 million. That's an eye-opener, right? If you take a photograph of the screen, you can go and check out the links yourself. To store one gigabyte of data on Ethereum, it'll cost you $79 million. On Solana, you pay a rent. It costs you about three and a half thousand sol. So let's try and visualize that. OK, so this is comparing Ethereum version 2 with Solana. The box on the left is the cost of storage, storing a gigabyte of data on the blockchain on, 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 on Ethereum. And the box on the right is the relative cost of storing it on Solana. So um, I mentioned that it costs 79 million on Ethereum. It costs the current price of Sol about $118,000 per gigabyte per year on, on Solana. OK, so now let's um, put Solana and the internet computer side by side to give you a sense of what this means. So now on the left, you have the relative cost of storing a gigabyte of data on Solana. On the right, and if you can see it, there's a little dot um, next to the magnifying glass. That's the relative cost of storing a gigabyte of data on the internet computer. On the internet computer, it costs you about $5, $5 a year. It's a constant cost to store a, a gigabyte of data in, in, in the form of uh, persistent memory pages and smart contracts. So that's an improvement of almost 24,000 times the current prices. So uh, to put this into real world terms, let's think about the cost of storing a simple phone photo on the blockchain. Phone photo is about 3.3 megabytes. To store a phone photo on the internet computer, it costs about 1.6 cents. 1.6 cents. To store a phone photo on Solana, it's actually technically almost impossible, but <laughs> if you could do it, it would cost you about $400, $390. So clearly, it's not possible to build social media services on Solana, which is the next most efficient blockchain. And that's why today when you hear about people talking, when you hear people talking about services, Web3 services, really they mean services that are built on Amazon Web Services that just man maintain some tokens on the blockchain. Um, the internet computer is very different. It allows people to build even mass market social media services entirely using smart contracts without any need for traditional tech. So um, I can hear you asking right now. Um, a lot of people um, say, claim, cloud computing is compatible with Web3. For example, I claim that it's fine to build on Amazon Web Services and just keep a few tokens on the blockchain. And you know, when you hear someone today saying built on Avalanche, built on Solana, built on Ethereum, built on Near Protocol, what they really mean is built on Amazon Web Services. And you know, this service just helps you maintain some tokens or NFTs on the blockchain. Um, the short answer is, is it's, but no, it's not. It, this isn't the way to go. Uh, if you run your service on Amazon Web Services, 
Um, it's not, there's no autonomy. You can't give users ownership. You can't run it under the control of a DAO. You as a developer control that service. You're legally responsible for the functionality and liable for it. And you can switch it off at any time. And of course it can be hacked. And that's why we're seeing, you know, um, hacks now being measured in, in, in the billions of dollars annually. So if you've got time, uh, you know, uh, check out this thing called OpenChat. OpenChat is a messaging service that is built on the internet computer blockchain where smart contracts are able, they're so efficient and fast, they're able to process individual chat messages, not just text messages, but also media messages like photographs and videos. And obviously this represents an absolutely enormous advance over, um, technical advance over many of the architectures in use today. So there are thousands of developers uh, already building on the internet computer. Um, this number was a couple of months old, but when I last checked, there were almost 3,000 GitHub repos for projects that are being built on the internet computer. So the ecosystem's seeing uh, pretty rapid growth. And really, the internet computer and the world computer vision generally is part of a movement to realize Web3. Web3 means different things to different people. To me and to people working at the Definity Foundation, Web3 um, means the reinvention of online systems and services on the blockchain. It means um, replacing traditional IT with blockchain in a kind of blockchain singularity and running uh, every service and system and service imaginable entirely from the blockchain without any traditional IT and providing users with ultimate ownership and control over these services through DAOs. And that's only possible if you run entirely from the blockchain. Big picture, um, where's blockchain really going? What does this really mean? What does it mean when blockchain becomes the stack? It becomes the platform that absolutely everything is, is built on. What is blockchain singularity? Um, our message is, you know, use a world computer, build on the internet computer, not big tech. And ICP can replace or improve many things. Traditional IT, the IT industry, is worth $5 trillion a year. Um, 2022, the world's going to spend half, half a trillion dollars on cloud computing. We would argue that people should stop building on insecure cloud computing services and build on the internet computer blockchain. Similarly, cybersecurity uh, cost the world uh, about $172 billion this year. But think about this, when you, big Bitcoin isn't protected by a firewall. You don't need a firewall to protect Bitcoins, right? It's a decentralized network. Um, it's tamper-proof. You don't need firewalls to protect smart contracts on Ethereum. And when you use smart contracts to build uh, mass market social media services, for example, um, on the internet computer blockchain, you also don't need a firewall. Um, longer term, you're going to see enterprise systems being built on the internet computer because security is a big deal in uh, computing generally these days and blockchain provides a solution. You just build from smart contracts. You don't need a firewall anymore. Um, another part of this big picture is that soft... I mean, Andreessen Horowitz is famous for saying software is eating the world. Um, I would say that smart contracts will eat software. Um, so, you know, blockchain, uh, learning to code on blockchains like the internet computer is a, a key future skill. Um, imagine what's coming with awareness and adoption. Um, awareness about the internet computer isn't that great. Um, a lot of people in blockchain don't like to talk about the internet computer. It's the kind of elephant in the room, right? Here's this blockchain that's processing billions of blocks, already processed billions of blocks in its first year, currently processing uh, half a billion transactions a day. I uh, got the biggest um, team of cryptographers in tech and the biggest R&D operation in blockchain going since 2015. A lot of people don't like to talk about it too much, but you know, uh, the developer community is growing rapidly and the things they're building are absolutely um, incredible. So um, you know, be a pioneer, join us, um, and help us move towards adoption. If you're interested, uh, go to uh, internetcomputer.org and you can find out much more about the internet computer and how it works. Um, look at some of the projects that have already been built on it. Um, 
And I think, you know, you'll find it a big eye opener. All right, that's it for me. Thanks.